Hey guys, thanks for coming back and hanging out with me here a minute. Um, first thing I wanted to show you was, obviously I had to uh, retool the uh, main wooden coaster here. A lot of feedback from you guys saying I need to need to get this right. Uh, one thing you guys have to remember, I have always sucked at uh, coaster building. So, uh, you know, cut me a little slack there. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, yes, I am... Well, not kidding. Uh, yes, I do suck at coast coaster building, but I do really enjoy the theming part of it more. But, you know, I'm trying to get better at the, at the coaster thing and doing some, uh, some better layouts. And, yeah, I think this coaster, it ended way too quick. Um, definitely didn't have enough drops. Even some little bunny hops that I've added, I think, have done a lot better. Um, a lot, like I said, a lot of you guys gave me some really good feedback. Um, I believe one guy even said if I didn't fix this, he was going to break me. I must break you. Yeah, so don't want that happening. Um, so yeah, let's take a ride on this real quick and see if you all think it's uh, lined up a little better. You know, kind of naturally slows down right here, getting towards the end. Then we get to the brake run. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, not 100%. Um, not as good as I see, uh, you know, from a lot of you guys. But still, I think that that, um, that is a big improvement uh, over what I had as quick as it ended. Um, you know, I think it just, it really just kind of failed after you got past this first, uh, you know, this first big drop. Um, the ride kind of died after that. So I think, yeah, it's still a little rough. It may possibly break your sternum in a few spots, but we're getting closer. It's definitely, um, even though I did kind of have to break up this view right here of, of kind of the water and the geyser, I think it serves the overall purpose so much better and uh, and getting a better ride out of the first one that the guests see when they come in. So that's kind of what I wanted to pop in and show you. Um, moved on a little bit. Um, did some more on the creek. Really, really love how this creek is turning out. Another big staple point of the park. You know, this creek is pretty much going to wind its way, um, you know, in and out of this whole park once it's once it's close to being done so uh, really important that I got that right and and made the creek look believable um, really what helps me do that is the uh, is making it shallow you know as shallow as possible taking the dead tree using the X key bending it over and uh, yeah so the creeks coming along nice also another thing that I thought was pretty cool started a um, like a, a terrain kind of mine train coaster over here and um, yeah, it's coming. It's coming along nice. I actually put the. I'm gonna call it Thunderstruck because I put the uh, the ACDC song Thunderstruck um, actually on the ride. So I thought that was a. I think it'll fit in pretty nice. Um, let's see. Let me just let you see this real quick. And <laughs> is this not awesome though that we can do that? That that's possible in this game. That is just totally epic that we can add our own soundtracks to this stuff. So yeah, like I said, um, overlook the crappiness of the coaster. I'm still trying to work on it, get some of the theming fixed with it. Um, but yeah, you know, I just I'm I'm totally totally loving this game. Um, you know, even now, you know, yeah, the full release is out. Um, 
just, I think the possibilities are endless. I do not know um, one thing bad to say about the game. I'm not, I'm definitely, I'm not trying to be a Planet Coaster fanboy. Um, even though, yeah, I am kind of one. I would not tell you to go spend your money on this if I thought it sucked. Um, totally worth it. We spend money. I know I spend money on a lot of different games that aren't worth it. Um, from the PlayStation to the Xbox One to uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon World I didn't feel was worth it. Um, I spend a lot of money on games. It's kind of one of the areas that I splurge a lot in. And there has never been one time since the beginning of April to now, what are we like, no, almost Thanksgiving here, never, I, I would, no matter what they put out as far as DLC goes, if they put it out right now and said you had to buy it now, I would buy it. Um, so if you haven't got it, you know, I, I would just give it a try. I mean, it's a, it's a lot cheaper than a new PlayStation game is, and... Um, like I said, you definitely get your money's worth. And I think, you know, if there is a little bit of neg negativity about it, I think it it may go back, you know, not wanting to sound harsh here, but it may go back to people's actual lack of creativity. Because it, to me, it is definitely not a lack of content or a lack of, of building pieces or, you know, I think without, you know, being harsh, people's creativity stops before the game you know i think that out trumps what the people that downplay the game that's what they're actually experiencing they're being limited by their own creativity not what the game gives to us because look at you know um rudy silver at delady signer adfo tv el escaso gamer um you know i know i'm leaving a lot of those guys out free the bear um Look what those guys are able to do, and they have the same pieces as all of us. This isn't a, uh, there's no UGC in involved yet, so there's nothing out there that, you know, pretty much they have that we can't have and build with. So, you know, I just, uh, I definitely, I would suggest you go out and get it. Definitely worth it. And, uh, yeah, I'm having a blast right here. This is another idea. Kind of wanted to come up with a, um, uh, kind of like a Gatlinburg, uh, Dollywood type building. So I've come up with Uncle Buck's 3D theater. And some of the guys on Facebook said, oh, you should have made it a 4D theater. So I thought, why not? Let's add some VFX. Let's get some 4D elements. So I thought this, uh, this building right here, Uncle Buck's 4D theater, uh, works out perfect on this corner. Um, a lot of my shop guys quit on me. So, uh, yeah, I had to get rid of all of them, have to hire some new ones. Uh, when we let the guests back in, but this is the uh, another start of the uh, of the little shopping area. Um, oh yeah, SP Ridley with the Street Fox Coffee. Go check him out. Totally forgot about him. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I just wanted to jump in here and show you kind of what I've had going on this week. Been kind of busy this week with with work and stuff, so I've only come home and played it like maybe an hour at night. Um, but tomorrow I should be on it should get a lot done with this park and uh, hopefully tomorrow night maybe Sunday if you guys are around swing back over check it out and uh, yeah we'll see how Geyser Springs progresses and uh, I know to keep you from uh, I don't want to keep rambling on here to you but one more thing before I go definitely wanted to thank you guys um, we reached 505 subscribers as of the the uh, making of this video definitely want to thank you guys i remember back in my rct3 days i bounced back between like 7 and 15 subscribers so ever since planet coaster come out and i started playing it at the beginning of april um if you go on social blade you can definitely tell when my subscribe when my subscription started ticking up right when planet coaster comes out so thank those guys and um yeah, I, uh, I, like I said, I just thank you guys for coming back and, and thinking enough of me to come back and hang out and, you know, just uh, watch the videos on the channel. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to get on out of here and uh, play this a little more. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys again. 500, let's, uh, let's not stop here. Let's shoot on for 1,000. Why not? And, uh, yeah, guys, really, really appreciate you. Thank you for joining the Wolf Pack. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you. Mike.
Hey, hey.